Welcome to today's awesome assembly. It's me, Mr. Etherton and Crow, and in the coming days, we're gonna think about superheroes. Yes, we're gonna think about lots and lots of different superheroes. That's right, isn't it, Crow? And we're gonna look at some superheroes in the Bible, in the Old Testament. But first of all, Mr. Badger, I can't find him anywhere at all. He said something about looking for a big bad wolf. Have you seen a big bad wolf, Crow? Quack. I don't know what he's talking about. Look, there's the big bad wolf. Get out of our sandpit. Go on, off you go. Oh no, there's Big Bad Wolf again. He's hiding in a bin. Look, he shouldn't be in the water butt or hiding behind the slide. He's in the tunnel. Who's that coming? It's a mystery superhero, Mr. E, Mr. E, Mr. E, mystery. Oh no, it's that naughty Mr. Big Bad Wolf again. Oh, what's that? Was it a bird? Is it a plane? It's superhero! Uh oh! Brave Brock! What's he doing? Hopping around like that. Oh, he's off flying! Around the tree tree playground! He's off to find the big bad wolf! Oh, it's that big bad wolf yet again, hiding in the tyres. But don't worry, here comes superhero, mystery. Look at that skill, look at that speed. Superhero, Mr. E. Mystery, Mr. E, mystery. Oh come on superheroes, you've got to be finding Big Bad Wolf and capturing. Look, he's just there. Here's Brave Brock yet again. Coming down the slide. And going up. And coming down again. And jumping up. Big Bad Wolf's behind you. Oh no he isn't. Brave Brock's having a cup of tea in the staff room. The big bad wolf has eaten all the chocolate biscuits in the staff room. Are you hiding them underneath the table? Yes? I hope you enjoyed that CCTV footage oh. from my school. I do hope those superheroes catch that big bad wolf. Do you think so, Mr. Crow? Oh, look who it is. It's the superhero! Who, who are you? Do you recognise him? Do you? I, 
I've never seen you before apart from in that CCTV footage. So who are you? Brave Brock? Is that what the B stands for? Brave Brock? Ah. Huh. I thought Brock was another word for badger. It's an old word for badger. Are you a badger? You're not a badger. I think it's just a superhero, Brave Brock, and it's got a B on for Brock. Brave Brock. Okay. Well, you need to have a go at catching that big bad wolf. Are you going to do that for me? Yeah? Here comes Brave Brock. He's going to save the world and save our school from the big bad wolf. Well, I'll tell you what, Brave Brock, if you see that Mr. Badger, can you tell him that I'm looking for him? Is that all right? Okay, so if Brave Brock sees Mr. Badger, then uh, he'll let me know, because I don't know where Mr. Badger is at the moment. I'm the other superhero? No, I've, I've not been in school for ages. I've, I've been in lockdown. It can't be me, it must be another superhero, one of Brave Brock's friends. Do you think so? Yeah. So, before we look at all the superheroes, or some of the superheroes in the Old Testament, I think it'd be really good to make a timeline so that we can see where they fit in the story. So, in the beginning, we have got the creation. Let's write creation here, shall we? And that took place over one, two, three, four, five, six days. On the seventh day, uh, God had a rest. So we've got all sorts of exciting things that have been created. So we've got light, there's some light there like that. And then we've got the earth with some water a raindrop here like that and then we've got some land and with some vegetation on it a nice tree and then we have the sun the moon and then we've got fish so some blue fish that uh, in the water and birds flying in the air oh, really bad, is it? and then on day six we've got some animals what animal shall I draw Badger. Yeah, let's have a badger. And some people. Not very good drawing people. There we are. So that's the beginning part. And then the first person that the Bible talks about is Adam. We have Adam here. And we have Eve. And in that story, we hear about how um, they gave in to temptation and rather than walk with God, they decided to do their own thing. And that's called the fall. And with some other characters that we hear about in the story then, we've got Cain. And we've got Abel. And we've got Seth. They're some of the characters in the Bible at that time. And after that, we've got the first superhero that we're going to have an assembly about, and that is Enoch. And he walked with God. So let's give him some stars like that, because we're gonna do about him. And here is another superhero 
who has made a wonderful Play-Doh hedgehog. Well done. Now the Bible encourages us to learn from the superheroes of the past. But they weren't all superheroes all the time. Many of them were super, but many of them made big mistakes too. And as we think about some of the superheroes in the coming days and coming weeks, and have lots of fun thinking about that, let's remember that it doesn't matter how hard we try, how good or how super we are, whether we succeed or indeed fail, What's most important is God's love for us. The fact that he forgives us, he shows us mercy, even when we make bad choices. As well as thinking about superheroes in the Bible, there are many superheroes in our society today. Doctors and nurses, they're the first ones that spring to mind. They're doing a brilliant job looking after people who are poorly as are the other emergency services or those who work in supermarkets or care homes. Those who are helping to keep our schools open for children who really, really need it. There are so many people out there making things like PPE for others, maybe raising money. There are so many superheroes, so we can be thankful to God for them as well. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the superheroes in the Old Testament, in the Bible. But Lord, we know that often, although they did great things for you, they often failed too. Lord, it's only in you, in your strength, that we can succeed. Help us to trust you. Pick us up when we make bad choices. Or do things wrong. Help us to remember your love for us. And Lord, we're so grateful for all the doctors and nurses and other superheroes in our society. Lord, give them super strength, we pray, as they go about their daily work. Amen. So, watch this next clip of Superheroes!